Hey guys, thanks for coming over to the new channel, Tacoma Apocalypse. Got my truck up on the lift today. Tim's in here working on it for me. Have not messed with the V8 swap at all. Haven't been working on that. But the truck's been kind of parked because the rear end was busted. There's a mud bog this weekend. Scarpon wants me to go to it. So he's having Tim fix the rear end in this truck for now. I think I found the problem. So, well look at this puny little ring gear. That's part of the problem. But uh, last time I ran this thing, that was the uh, smoking and drinking on a Tuesday night video. Flashback. Ready? Let's do it. Dude, that was, that was a depressing. Oh, yeah, that was the biggest blow. Oh, shit. Ow. Yeah. That's where it belongs. And that's where it is. We're not getting back oh, out of my. here. Wheels are supposed to be like this. Or like this. Or like this. Right, right. Like, right here. Look at the top of the tail light, by the way, is missing. Someone smash into a tree. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Check the damage. <laughs> so angry. Oh, dude, this truck took a beating last night. Oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> there it is. There is that broken dip. Drive shaft is spinning. Look at the drive shaft spinning there. We ain't going anywhere, boys. End of flashback. I busted this. I didn't even know it was broke until the next day when I went back for the truck. Uh, this was a Yukon gear. And, whoa, this thing didn't break? Mm-mm. Huh. It, it ate it up pretty yeah, bad, Yeah, it just though. chewed it up a little. Yeah, okay, well, so uh, Tim was nice enough to pull this out of the truck for me, what, yesterday, and pop a new one in here. Got a new one from right down the street. What's that place called? Four Wheel Parts. Mm -hmm. Four Wheel Parts has a Carlisle warehouse now, so we can run right down the street and get parts from there. It's pretty nice. Yeah, now, like, like it's right there. They got a lot of stuff. I had to go to the Toyota to get the crush uh, sleeve. I had to get the crush sleeve Which, from the Toyota dealer. And you cannot reuse it. Yeah, so so we got a new crush sleeve started. in there too. And Tim's just putting it back together right now, right? Mm -hmm. Brakes are a little muddy inside. Huh? Oh, it was packed. Chuck's been through hell. I mean, well, actually, I've only had this thing like two years now, I think. About two years, yeah. About two, yeah. So it really hasn't been through the hell that, that my first gen's been through, but it's getting there. So um, I guess we'll get this back together. I go uh, have some fun this weekend. Probably go to Treverton too. That's like coal mining country. And uh, ride around up there a little bit too, as long as it holds up uh, Saturday for the mud bog. That's tomorrow, by the way. This is Friday, so yeah, we don't like try to get this video up quick. Too prepared. Yeah, no one likes to be too prepared. I like to do things last minute. But while I'm showing you the truck, uh, I'll show you this radiator too. I busted the radiator last weekend because I was jumping it at the house. Even though the rear end was busted, I was still running it. It still actually drove in four wheel drive, you know, so I was still jumping it, but check out this radiator. We just pulled it out. Look at how muddy this thing is. Oh, it's trashed. Uh, my bumper, if you saw my bumper build video, I shaved as much off as I could off the front end and I got a little too close to the radiator because as you can see, uh, see how it's bunching it up here. The sheet metal I used for the skid plate on the bumper was a little too thin. I did add this bar to help support it, but uh, it had already kind of taken a hit, so that got busted, but uh, Tim's gonna throw a new rat in it for me today too while I'm working on YouTube and uh, get this back together and have some fun this weekend. I guess we'll do some filming too. There's skirt pond now. I guess this is your introduction to Swartz breaking his shit and then putting it off as long as he can until I want to do something that involves him and his toys so I have our guys fix his junk because he's too lazy to do it. You know, no, actually, I was just waiting because I figured I'd be putting that Chevy 14 bolt rear in there and this here uh, big V8. But you want to get a picture of that, you know? So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in no rush, but I've been working on a drift truck. Mm -hmm. 
that was a priority, but now that event's over. Here's the rear end that's gonna go in the truck then. It's been... This is a Chevy 14 bolt with a 10 and a half inch ring gear. It's not gonna break. Two and a half right? inches cut out the bottom for clearance, clearance. Yeah. It's not the clearance great. gear. Got the shave on there. I got some other videos. I haven't put them up on this uh, on this channel yet, but I'll get those videos up of this build. And then hopefully get back on this here uh, V8 swap in this truck pretty soon. Uh, probably like this coming week, I think. Might just tear into it. Might. <laughs> Who's that? You might just tear it. What is it here? You might. No, look. For now, man. Look at this. Who did that? Tim, were you driving this thing? No. no, for now, I'm just fixing up the YouTube channel. But once that's all done, then for real, I'm going to get that V8 swap done. I promise. Pharrell. Promise. Hey, um, Pharrell is a singer. Pharrell. <laughs> Pharrell, Pharrell. So, all right, guys. Hey, make sure to like the video, even though it sucked. And uh, make sure to subscribe to this here new channel. And uh, leave some comments. You know, comments are good. And um, what's the other thing they should do? Comments make the um, channel. Share, share the, yeah. share the video. Share the channel, don't share this video. This video sucked, but uh, I felt like I at least owe you guys something for coming over to the new channel, make one quick video today. And then uh, maybe we'll do some mud bogging this weekend and some riding around on trails at Treverton. So I'll have a new video for you soon. Later. Hey guys, we're back. Um, got this rear end in the truck. Look at all this damage. So uh, Skirpon's gonna be a pal and push this in with his Jeep real quick. So I figured I'd film it right before I post this video. One little extra. There's a Bulens, there's Skirpon. Oh yeah, oh. Ooh, you were gonna break that thing. That crappy push bar thing that goes up over your winch. Now you're gonna break the winch. Hate to see you break the winch, pal. Yeah, keep going at that angle. Yeah, try that. Yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> a tough Toyota bumper there, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty strong. Pretty strong bumper. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's still pretty fucked up. Hey, you tried your best. Just a little damage on the heap now. Got a nice little slope to it now. I mean, in all fairness, there's no bolts holding the bottom of this in, so all the dig was tilted back. Wow, bro. Why well, you got no bolts in the bottom of that thing, so it just tilted back like this? It's busted. No. Push back a bit. All right, guys, thanks for joining us on Tacoma Apocalypse. <laughs> hey, and if you uh, tune into Cam Zone, this is his mom. Hi. She'll be on some of his videos, know what I mean? Cam Zone. Get on it. Later, guys. <laughs>